Welcome back. I'm doing a different problem here. This is from the Beer uh, book. The author is Beer, it's not Hebler. Uh, this was a re request that was sent to me a few days ago. I figured it might help a bunch of people out. So let's get started. So this is the first chapter of the Statics Dynamics, um, you know, combined book from the from Beer, and we're dealing with, um, you know, just kinematics um, so we have block A in this pulley system strapped to B and we're trying to find out what the accelerations are for of B and A and also their velocities and positions after you know two seconds okay so the first part is just you know setting up the problem right so there's one of these pulley system problems so we gotta determine a datum in the y direction you know we can see here that the the rope that's going to change or the length of the rope that it's actually going to defer as time goes by I'm highlighting it in red okay all right so these are the only three chunks of rope that are actually going to change you know if let's say um, you know we bring up B up here right these ropes these chunks of ropes got shorter right and we know that you know A might be over here so then the length of the part A is going to get longer or rope A is going to get longer okay the, this section here that I'm highlighting or circling is not going to change no matter what we bring up if we bring up B all the way up here that's like the maximum it can go right this part never changes so we don't even care about it all right so now that we have that in mind let's do a one equation so the length of the rope is going to be this section LA plus this section, this section, and this section, which we're just going to call, you know, one of them we're going to call LB. So it's going to be 3 LB. Okay, 1, 2, 3. Now we're going to take one derivative, right? L is constant, it's not going to change. So we have VA plus 3VB, and then the acceleration. And something, uh, you know, so we get, uh, let's just finish this part. So we get AA is equal to minus 3AB, okay? And I'm, like always, I'm going to use my, syst my coordinate system like this. This is positive X, this is positive Y. All right. Um, one thing that I've told some students um, in the past is, you know, if you have, like, three ropes connected to one block and one of them is connected to the other one right so like rope a has only one rope connected to it rope b has three block three ropes connected to it it's gonna it just means that um the velocity of b or the acceleration of b will be three times um you know it's going to be divide reduced by th three multiple or a multiple of three okay and that's kind of what we see here you know if B is going at one ex one meter per second squared. Uh, we have A going three times faster. Or if A is going one meter per second squared, A uh, B will be going one third meter per second squared. Okay, so like that's kind of what this tells us. And it, in most problems, it kind of works out like that. You know, like some of them are like, um, like I don't know, one rope here it's connected to a pulley and then a bigger block is connected by two ropes so you know it's going to be like AA um, 2AB right um, just pay attention to the direction as well but that, that's kind of a general rule of thumb for a lot of these 
Anyways, now we have this. This is cake, right? Once you have, once you set up correctly, you're confident that you got it correct. We're done. So part A is just the accelerations of A and B, the velocity and the change in position of B. One key word that they have here is constant acceleration, and they start from rest, right? So for, uh, you know, that means we can use these equations. We have x final, x naught plus this plus one half a t squared. We also have um, v final is equal to v naught plus a t. And we also have this other one, v squared, v naught squared plus 2a delta x. Okay, so for block A, um, you know, it's they give us the, it has moved 9 inches and it, and it gave us a velocity. Um, you know, they don't give us any time initially, so we, you know, we can cancel out this equation, cancel out this equation, and we're left with this one. Okay. So we're looking for what's the velocity of A after it has moved, oh sorry, what's the acceleration of A after it has moved 9 inches and has reached a velocity of 6 feet per second. So let's do that. It reached a velocity of 6 feet per second, right? And I'm, and I'm saying 6 feet per second positive, right? Because I'm, I'm saying if it's going to the right is positive, right? Which means if A is positive, B is falling downwards, right? Which we should get some negative velocity there. Okay, remember, do that sanity check so you can make sure that your answers are uh, making sense. So we have initial velocity is zero, right? We have the acceleration term, we don't know it, but we do know that displacement will be uh, six, I'm oh, sorry, nine inches. And remember to do this as nine twelfths. Okay. So you have, um, you know, some some algebra to do. So this is thirty six divided by two multiplied by nine, twelve ninths. You know, this is a a. You know, cross out everything. So it's six times four. So we get twenty four feet per second squared. Okay, so we got a positive acceler acceleration, which makes sense because our object is moving to the right. Okay, and that's how we set up a coordinate system. All right, so let's see the accelerations of A and B. And then to finish part A, right, we plug that in there, and we get 24 divided by negative 3 gives us acceleration of B as minus 8 feet per second squared. Swoop, swoop, swoop. Okay. All right, let's, let's see. Let's, so, okay, part A is done. All right. Remember, this is pretty much the crux of the problem, just getting this part done. And then we're pretty much, um, you know, home free after that. Now part B, the velocity and the change position of B after two seconds. And again, looking at these kinematic equations here, we can see, okay, which one from our toolbox is gonna work out for us. And again, remember, this is for constant acceleration. Can't, and I can't stress that enough, constant acceleration allows us to use the easy equations. No integration, no derivatives, no nothing, okay? So, the velocity and the chain position of B after two seconds. Well, let's see. Um, let's see. So we can say V final is equal to V initial plus my acceleration times the time. I'm looking for V final, okay, for, for B. Uh, my initial velocity is zero, right? My acceleration is minus eight feet per second squared, and the time is two seconds. So that's telling me that V final for B is minus 16 feet per second. 
okay and again everything's making sense everything's going downwards perfect We've got a negative velocity and then the chain of position you know so you can do the chain of position we kind of have everything we need um, so we can use either this top equation here just change it to you know y's instead of x's or we can just use the, the first one we used initially the, the v squared or whatever so here we have um, you know we're gonna use this one oops delta and in this case instead of delta x is delta y so we're gonna say minus 16 squared that's my final velocity after two seconds is equal to zero plus um, two times the acceleration we already have that what was it minus eight delta y okay so this is you know this is minus 16 times minus 16 this is just so I can just cancel out you know divided by minus 16 let's get rid of that you get delta y so you know just do the algebra here you should get the same answer as me that's going to be delta y of negative 16 feet okay and that's it and that's part uh, B so it's pretty pretty easy once once you do uh, that length of the rope equation so on it becomes very easy after that all right if you guys uh, have any questions on this just drop a comment down below I appreciate your attention hope this video helped um, get to studying guys thanks